Hi, my name's Chris Upton from Call Young Gun Dogs. I train gun dogs. I specialize in gun dog training. I don't specialize in pet training. I specialize in gun dog training. As you saw, the first picture was a Labrador with a pigeon jumping over a tree. This video has nothing to do with a Labrador with a pigeon jumping over a tree. It's to do with left and right commands. If you like what you see, come over to Patreon. For a small fee monthly, you can watch hundreds and hundreds of Chris Upton videos, how to train a gun dog. Sit up. One of the most difficult things that people do and struggle with on a simple thing is a left and a right. Okay? Now, I'm going to teach the dog Watch. I'm going to teach him to go right. Watch my shadow. Go right. You never saw no hand movement. Good lad. Go left. So as you can see, get out. He saw both of them down, and he went for the one I told him to go for. So, if you don't believe me, that he doesn't know his left from his right, to tap. We'll do it again, but this time we'll do it back to front. So, that one out there, okay. And that one out there. And all I'm gonna do is tell him, because that was the last one he saw, I want the other one. Go right. Go right. There you go. He went to go left on the last one and I said to him, no, go right. Now I'm going to send him for the one on the left. So that's the one on the right. Go left. There you go. Dead. Go right. So there you go. Look at that. This dog's a natural. Now, what you could argue is, technically, is it is right or is left? Because the position he's standing in, the position he's standing in, so let's try it with a ball. So he saw two balls out, and I wanted to pick the one on the right. Go right. There you go. Look how he picked that up. He knew straight away what I was going to say to him because he's reading my mind. Get out. There. Good lad. So whether it's a ball. Right, so. So now. To tap. I'm going to throw one to the right, one to the left, and one out there, look. I want the one out the back. 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 So, back. Or, get out, because I teach him get out means go in that direction, go left, go right, whatever I want him to do, last there, and the dog is learning for association, I'm adding to the behaviours, 
and and it, and, and the delivery's got to be good as well. Good luck. Get out. Come here. Get out. Look, no drive. Why? Because it's hot. He's bored. He's done a number of retrieves. He's doing it, but he'd rather go and do his own thing. But he's doing it because I've conditioned him in stages. Okay, so get on, go and play. Look at him panting. It's a warm day. You can't do it if you're not interested. Now, how do I can strengthen the sit? Watch. Sit up. There you go. Come here. Sit up. Come here. Good lad. Get out. I want the one on the left. Last. Left. Good lad. Now I want the one on the right. Good lad. Good lad. And as you can see, see him plodding back. See him worn out. Because they can't do too much in this heat. This heat can be too much. So this time, sit up. One out there. One out there. Gone away. Go left. There you go, look. He's going left. You can only get so many retrieves out of them, good lad. Go right. Last there. Good lad. And if you overdo it with him, he don't want to play the game, do you? Because it's too warm. So, as a... Happy little dog that listens, does as he's told, will park his ass when you tell him. This is the fun element. Get out! And that's when the pace comes up. And the pace comes up when he's chasing a bird or chasing a rabbit. He loves the chase. But if there's not a chase, he's not going to go out, so pacey, on a retrieve. And yet, I'm not recalling him. Dead. Good lad. It's all gameplay, but teaching him the verbal cues. But what you see on the video isn't always the case. Because I wasn't controlling that dog on the go left and go right like the video shows because I don't teach go left go right because I teach the movement of the hand and you might not have seen the hand move on the video but watch watch so tap the hand movement is the direction he's gonna go watch get out Every time he's going, watching the visual. Right, he's watching the visual. So the verbal cue was followed at the same time in as me moving my hand. And you could say, yeah, but we saw the first video with your shadow and you didn't move your hand. That's for one reason. Have you worked it out? I want your answers on a postcard why did the dog go for the one dummy that when I gave him the directional command I said go right that he went right let's see if you can work that one out it's all to do with visual everything is to do with visual so if you'd like to learn to train a gun dog properly why not come over to Patreon and see Chris Upton on Patreon, where he can show you how to train a gun dog properly.